for the women, the sort of problems that can lead to decrease in fertility include problems with ovulation, um, problems with the fallopian tubes, which is where the egg and sperm meet, problems with the uterus, just age-related infertility. And so there are a number of tests that we do to assess these. The typical first-line initial tests of a woman undergoing fertility evaluation include some hormone levels to assess her thyroid and ovarian function, uh, a test to check her tubes to make sure her fallopian tubes are open, very important. And we also uh, do an ultrasound scan to evaluate the uterus, make sure that that is uh, generally within reason. As a woman ages, her fertility declines. You see, a woman is born with all her eggs, about a million eggs per ovary at birth. And by menopause, about a thousand left. So during her course of her life, she loses a lot of eggs. And as the number of eggs go down, her fertility goes down. And there's no uh, certain age after which it's a cliff. It, it's a gradual decrease. And particularly after 35 or 37 years of age, uh, fertility becomes more of a problem merely because of age. For women under 35, if they've tried for a year and haven't been able to conceive, it's worth seeing their doctor. For women over 35, six months. In terms of helping couples conceive, it's not a rubber stamp. So it's very individualized treatment. It depends on the particular problem or problems for the couple. And so we do the evaluation and then based on the evaluation, we together come up with a strategy that's reasonable from my standpoint and acceptable from the patient's standpoint. So typical treatments may include taking some fertility drugs to help the woman ovulate better. It may include artificial insemination, uh, especially if there's a male factor involved. In some cases, it's more aggressive treatment, such as in vitro fertilization, which is quite involved and expensive. For a couple starting off on this process of trying to reproduce, it's first important to do everything they can to maximize their own success uh, and thereby not need our services. They can do things like uh, avoiding caffeine, no more than one or two cups of coffee a day, avoiding drugs, especially marijuana. A big thing for women actually is smoking. Smoking kills eggs. It's the only thing I know that a woman can choose to do that kills eggs, decreases her fertility, and brings earlier the age of menopause. So that's a big no-no. When a couple uh, embarks on trying to start a family, often they hear from family, friends, and others that they have to time intercourse precisely with ovulation. I'm a strong believer that that causes a lot of stress. And that stress actually can decrease their fertility. There's no study to show that if they use ovulation prediction kits or their temperature and time intercourse with ovulation, that they're more likely to get pregnant. So I advise couples to avoid doing that, uh, but engage in a frequency of intercourse of at least twice a week. So I advise couples don't go with things that are untested, unproven. They may help, they may harm, or they may do nothing. Fertility is too important to gamble with.